Numbers chapter 28 The Lord said to Moses, Give this command to the Israelites, and say to them, Make sure that you present to me at the appointed time my food offerings as an aroma pleasing to me. Say to them, This is the food offering you are to present to the Lord. Two lambs a year old without defect as a regular burnt offering each day. Offer one lamb in the morning and the other at twilight, together with a grain offering of a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour, mixed with a quarter of a hin of oil from pressed olives. This is the regular burnt offering instituted at Mount Sinai as a pleasing aroma, a food offering presented to the Lord. The accompanying drink offering is to be a quarter of a hin of fermented drink with each lamb. Pour out the drink offering to the Lord at the sanctuary. Offer the second lamb at twilight, along with the same kind of grain offering and drink offering that you offer in the morning. This is a food offering, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. On the Sabbath day, make an offering of two lambs a year old without defect, together with its drink offering, and a grain offering of one-fifth of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with olive oil. This is the burnt offering for every Sabbath, in addition to the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. On the first of every month, present to the Lord a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With each bull there is to be a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. With the ram, a grain offering of one-fifth of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. And with each lamb, a grain offering of a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. This is for a burnt offering, a pleasing aroma, a food offering presented to the Lord. With each bull, there is to be a drink offering of half a hin of wine. With a ram, a third of a hin, and with each lamb, a quarter of a hin. This is the monthly burnt offering to be made at each new moon during the year. Besides the regular burnt offering with its drink offering, one male goat is to be presented to the Lord as a sin offering. On the fourteenth day of the first month, the Lord's Passover is to be held. On the fifteenth day of this month, there is to be a festival. For seven days eat bread made without yeast. On the first day hold a sacred assembly, and do not do any of your ordinary work. Present to the Lord a food offering consisting of a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With each bull, offer a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. With the ram, one-fifth, and with each of the seven lambs, one-tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering to make atonement for you. Offer these in addition to the regular morning burnt offerings. In this way, present the food offering every day for seven days as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. It is to be offered in addition to the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. On the seventh day, hold a sacred assembly and do not do any ordinary work. On the day of first fruits, when you present to the Lord an offering of new grain during the festival of weeks, hold a sacred assembly and do not do any of your ordinary work. Present a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. With each bull there is to be a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. With the ram, one-fifth and with each of the seven lambs one-tenth. Include one male goat to make atonement for you. Offer these together with their drink offerings, in addition to the regular burnt offering and its grain offering. Be sure the animals are without defect. Numbers chapter 29 
On the first day of the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly and do not do any of your ordinary work. It is a day for you to sound the trumpets. As an aroma pleasing to the Lord, offer a burnt offering of one young bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bull, offer a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with olive oil. With the ram, one-fifth. And with each of the seven lambs, one-tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering to make atonement for you. These are in addition to the monthly and daily burnt offerings with their grain offerings and drink offerings as specified. They are food offerings presented to the Lord, a pleasing aroma. On the tenth day of the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly. You must deny yourselves and do no work. Present as an aroma pleasing to the Lord a burnt offering of one young bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bull offer a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. With the ram, one-fifth, and with each of the seven lambs, one-tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the sin offering for atonement and the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and their drink offerings. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly and do not do any ordinary work. Celebrate a festival to the Lord for seven days. Present as an aroma pleasing to the Lord a food offering consisting of a burnt offering of thirteen young bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With each of the thirteen bulls, offer a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. With each of the two rams, one-fifth, and with each of the fourteen lambs, one-tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the second day, offer twelve young bulls, two rams and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams and lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and their drink offerings. On the third day, offer eleven bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the fourth day, offer ten bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the fifth day, offer nine bulls, two rams and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams and lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the sixth day, offer eight bulls, two rams and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the seventh day, offer seven bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. 
include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the eighth day, hold a closing special assembly and do not do any of your ordinary work. Present as an aroma pleasing to the Lord a food offering consisting of a burnt offering of one bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bull, the ram, and the lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. In addition to what you vow and your free will offerings, offer these to the Lord at your appointed festivals, your burnt offerings, grain offerings, drink offerings, and fellowship offerings. Moses told the Israelites all that the Lord commanded him. Mark chapter 8 During those days another large crowd gathered. Since they had nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will collapse on the way because some of them have come a long distance. His disciples answered, But where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. When he had taken the seven loaves and given thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute to the people, and they did so. They had a few small fish as well. He gave thanks for them also and told the disciples to distribute them. The people ate and were satisfied. Afterwards, the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. About four thousand were present. After he had sent them away, he got into the boat with his disciples and went to the region of Dalmanufa. The Pharisees came and began to question Jesus. To test him, they asked him for a sign from heaven. He sighed deeply and said, Why does this generation ask for a sign? Truly, I tell you, no sign will be given to it. Then he left them, got back into the boat, and crossed to the other side. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread except for one loaf they had with them in the boat. Be careful, Jesus warned them. Watch out for the yeast of the Pharisees and that of Herod. They discussed this with one another and said, It is because we have no bread. Aware of their discussion, Jesus asked them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not see or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes but fail to see, and ears but fail to hear? And don't you remember, when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many basketfuls of pieces did you pick up? Twelve, they replied. And when I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many basketfuls of pieces did you pick up? They answered, Seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand? They came to Bethsaida, and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spat on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, Do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Jesus sent him home, saying, Don't even go into the village. Jesus and his disciples went on to the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On the way he asked them, Who do people say I am? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others one of the prophets. But what about you? he asked. Who do you say I am? Peter answered, You are the Messiah. 
Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him. He then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke plainly about this, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels.